Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will finally share with you how our dressing room walk-in closet turned out. I was waiting and waiting to find the right piece, a bench to put in the center of the room and I still have not found it so I decided to, yeah, I will show you how it turned out anyways without that bench. Uh, I have upcycled a few items to go in this space so I will show you that process and how it all turned out. So stay tuned for this. I will start with this cute little wool cabinet. I have had it for years and I gave it to my mother and now it's back with me. And it's a bit dirty, it has been sitting in a garage for quite a while. So I will start to take off the knobs and all the hardware, the hooks, and then I will clean it up properly. Now it's all cleaned and I will start painting it inside and out with a black satin color and I applied it two coats to get a really good coverage and let it dry in between the coats. This video is part of the Third Thursday Thrift Flips Challenge hosted by the Rusted Willow and Rustic Chicks Design and their guest host for this month is Lolly Dee's Creations. You will find links down in my description box to their channel so you can go and check them out later and I also have uh, in my description box a link to the playlist of this challenge for more thrift flip ideas. I will change out the knobs to these cute ceramic knobs that I found in our local cheap store and I'm just putting on a little coat of a gold uh, rub and buff on that shiny silver details on the knob and then I will just put them on and I'll be done. You will see in the final reveal later on. Then I bought this bookcase on um, Facebook Marketplace and I thought I'd keep it as is but then I noticed on the doors mm, they don't look that good. So I decided to paint the doors in a greyish colour that I have already on my credenza in this space so it all goes together. So two coats of this greyish color satin finished and then I will put on ceramic knobs on this piece as well and here I am I have a little desk in this space and um, it doesn't look very good on the back so I took a piece of plywood cut it to size and now I'm painting it in the same greyish color and hubby will help me to just screw it into place and now I'm on to the doors one of the doors facing our living room will have uh, some embellishments so I found this inner frame that fit perfectly onto the door I like that and then this other frame this one here that will go inside the other one I measure to get it centered on the door like that and then it's time to attach it and I will do that with some wood glue like you see me do here and then put it in place I'll do the same with the other frame and then I will attach it also with some nails like that I 
If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasures, some tubes, renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. Now I'm taking some spackle to put on the outside and inside of the frames to get it seamless to make it look like it's always been there so just putting it on with my finger to smoothen it out and then I will set it aside to dry for a bit I think I left it overnight actually but at least a couple of hours and then it's time to paint it. I did go in with a sanding paper to just remove all the chunky pieces um, didn't belong there just to smooth everything out before I started painting. So I applied two coats of this black satin color all over the door The other side of the door that faces into the dressing room will be the greyish color that I've used for other pieces in the same area and I applied two coats. Now I'm on to embellishing the door. This is the part that is facing out to the living room. I just have a tiny piece of uh, MDF that I will just make a star and a moon just to indicate that you are entering into our sleeping area. So I'm taking the scroll saw and just cut those pieces out. I'm sanding off the edges to prepare them for painting and then I will go in with the gold acrylic paint that I have uh, put a tiny dot of black into to get that antique look not too shiny and I applied two coats on the front of my cutouts I had put the door into place and now I am taking this gold acrylic paint that I've used for the moon and the star and I'm just dry brushing the two frames that will make them pop. And now it's time to put on the star and the moon and I do that just with some hot glue. Now on to another door, the one leading to the bathroom and I will embellish it with this Buddha and I will take the same kind of MDF that I use for the star and the moon just put a carbon paper underneath that picture and uh, just trace the outline of the Buddha. The door itself will be painted in that greyish color that I've used all over. Just the side that faces the dressing room. The other side is already white so that's okay already. Now I'm back to my scroll saw and just cutting out the silhouette of the Buddha. Just have to work slowly with this scroll saw so you don't 
push it too hard, too fast, so that the saw blade gets damaged. I'm putting on a base coat of the same greyish color that I've used all day today. Two coats. And now it's time to make this silhouette of a Buddha come to life and um, yeah, make it look somewhat like the Buddha on the picture. And I'm using acrylic paint for this different shades of grey and white and you will see I will just let you watch If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing, maybe share with a friend and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. And while I'm painting I often get joined by my cats one or more and this time Lucy or Lucifer will join me I think they sense that I'm in a meditative state I'm just to go with the flow with my painting and they like that kind of energy So now it's time to put my Buddha in place on the door and I do that just with the nail gun as you see me do here. One on the top and one on the bottom and I'm done here. Now I will show you how it all turned out. And here we are, here is the door leading from the living room. I think it turned out super cute, whimsical. I love it. Tell me what you think. And now, welcome to our dressing room. I love this space, it's a great space and that is the way to our bedroom. I have a thrifted mirror here that came actually in that greyish tone that set the tone for the entire place. And I just have an ottoman there, but I am in need of a bench that I still have not found. This credenza I made over in a previous video, you can leave that in the description box below. And also this painting made especially for this space. And here is the desk and this cute little side table that I have made over as well in the previous video. And 
here you can see the bookcase that I just painted the doors of and put on black ceramic knobs looking good I just have some bed linens in it and you can see here I have some Billy bookcases from Ikea on each side that I had already on hand I have sweaters in them and what have you trousers and then we just took a piece of wood put it on top of those Ikea bookcases I have another one on this side and then we have some rods going across two here that I have my clothes on this is my side and then on the other side of the bookcase is my hobby's place he has a dresser underneath and on the top we have uh, baskets boxes plenty of storage and this is the cute little wall cabinet that I made over looking good and I'm using the hooks for like in between clothes they're not ready to be washed yet I can use them for another day and here we have the door to the bathroom looking good with the Buddha it's a place for meditation in the bathroom. And here on the side, just a laundry basket. This is how it looks from the other side. And the door from the other side leading out to the living area in that greyish color as well. So hobby side here and then I go on on this side and I have the dresser there as well. So tell me what do you think of this space? Leave me a comment down below. And if you are inspired and you want more thrift flip ideas Head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.